Hello and welcome back. This time I'm going to show you the glass scales. Also called linear scales, linear encoders. A glass scale is a device that senses the movement of an object that moves in one direction. This slider moves in the same direction as the object we would like to sense where it moves and how much it moves. So, for example, it could be attached to our CNC machine table and it will send signals to our controller whether the table moves or does it move at all. Or if it moves, but not exactly the same amount as we want. So it could detect the failure of the movement which our machine had to do. Similar scales are used often in conventional milling machines uh, lathes, for example, and those are attached to the DROs. Such linear scale can be connected to UC300 ETH, although the linear scale uh, can't be used to close the step and direction loop of this controller. Usually those controllers are used with stepper motors. The characteristics of the stepper motors says that the bigger speed on the shaft the less torque we have on the shaft and that would make the linear scale feedback closing the step and direction loop uh, about useless when the linear scale would detect a movement error the controller would try to make the speed of the motor bigger which would result in less torque and usually when there's position error on our stepper motor that means that the load is too big for our motor a linear scale like this can not be used with this controller to close the loop but with our controller this linear scale can be used for other purposes for example similar as a DRO on a conventional machine the linear scale could be used uh, for just reading the position of our axis also can be used for uh, some custom purposes for example I'd like in my uh, CNC lathe uh, to use such linear scale to read the position of my tailstock. I'm going to drive my tailstock with pneumatic cylinder and the pneumatic cylinders are known that those can be controlled in meaning of the exact position of the uh, piston rod and that's where such linear scales can be really handy. Connecting the moving piece of the tailstock to this slider can result in a situation where the CNC controller knows exactly where the tailstock is and for example if I would like to attach a drill to the tailstock and I'd like to make a hole for an exact depth the linear scale slider would move exactly with the drill the CNC controller would know exactly how deep the drill has gone and in the moment where it achieves the position which we want it to achieve it would switch back the electro pneumatic valve and make it to back off These linear scales come with this DB9 connectors, so to plug in this linear scale to any device we have two options to wire in. We can either cut this connector off and solder directly to the wires or buy such DB9 socket where the DB9 connector can be plugged in in the socket and then we can solder directly to the pins and those pins will be connected to, 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 to through the soldered wires will be connected to the power supply and into the inputs of our CNC controller. And in order to plug this linear scale through this connector to our CNC controller we will use this breakout board. It's the same device what we were using in our last videos about this CNC controller.
This is the wiring diagram to connect the linear scale to the CNC controller. To power the CNC controller we need a 5 volt DC power supply and to power the breakout board we need 24 volts. So we connect the the, the live and the neutral wires to the power supplies and we connect the breakout board to one of the ports of the, of the CNC controller and when we have wired up all of this we can connect the linear scale to the inputs of the breakout board. This is the pinout which was described to where I bought the linear scale. On the pin number 2 is the power supply 0 volt. On the pin number 7 is 5 volt plus. Pin number 8, one of the signals. Pin number 2, the second phase. The linear scales usually have two pins, the phase A and phase B. Depending on how the signals behave, the controller can count the pulses which are sent to the controller. And when you know how much pulses per millimeter you have, the controller can quite accurately measure the position of the object we are moving. For example, my linear scale has the accuracy of 5 thousandths of a millimeter, so one pulse is counted as a movement of 5 thousandths of a millimeter. After powering up our circuit we can already see that the LEDs which show the state of the connected inputs are working. They blink really fast even on tiny and slow movements of the slider. The resolution is 5 microns. That's 200 different positions for each millimeter recognized. That's a resolution which is enough for most lathes or milling machines. Thanks to the AB signals, the CNC controller is able to recognize the direction of each even the tiniest movement. After some wiring the linear scales uh, works with our system and we have configured uh, it that it works uh, like a DRO on a conventional machine. It shows the position of the axis on the screen. In UCCNC we can configure uh, up to six uh, such linear scales. So for each axis there is a possibility to attach such linear scale. 
uh, but also, as I stated before, the linear scales can be used for custom purposes. I'm going to use it as a linear scale for my tail stock, which uh, will be, uh, let's say, one of my axes, uh, although it won't be driven by any stepper or servo, it will be driven by the pneumatic cylinder. Using some macros, we can use the value uh, which is counted by UCCNC from the linear scale and use it to achieve some uh, custom functionality. So the macro, which will be controlling my tail stock, uh, will get the feedback from the linear scale and the CNC controller will be able to push out the cylinder and when it reaches the desired position, it will back off the pneumatic cylinder and I should be able to drill with my pneumatic tailstock. So that's my plan for this linear scale and I hope it, it will work. Thanks for watching and see you next time. By the way, if you don't subscribe,